Hi everyone, it's Norma and it's that time of the month again. It is what I am burning now and this is what I am burning now in April. And this is an interesting month for me because my what I want to do is to be able to downsize, cut down on the amount of candles I'm burning but still have things going on because I still like to have my points of light through various spaces throughout the house. But I want to cut down on the maintenance. However, this want is warring with my need to de-stash my stash. So April has been kind of a transition month. I mean, it's, it's springtime, we should be getting warmer weather. However, here in Michigan, we've actually had a colder April than we've had pretty much all winter. Um, it's been a really cold month. It snowed today. I think right now it's freezing rain outside. Um, so it's kind of a, a transitional month as far as the season goes. And I figure because it's so cold right now in April, this may be my last chance to really get some really good burns in before the warmer weather hits. So as much as I wanted to downsize, I actually have a lot more going on this month than I did last month in March. So you will see, you will see. I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, and part of it is because, as you guys know, I was on a wax ban. And then the wax ban ended on Good Friday. So Easter weekend, I went to the Swan Creek outlet. And I gave myself about a week of being off the band to get a couple things. Now I'm back on the band, and I plan on being back on the wax band until the semi-annual sale. So, because I got a few new things, I kind of wanted to try them out. Um, however, I'd already pretty much picked out all the candles I wanted for April, so I just basically had to make room. So that's why you're going to see a lot of things going on. Um, for instance, in here, I mean, I just had no place to put it, so I just kind of stuck it on the counter, and I guess it kind of looks okay. Um, and here I have a new candle, and this is Lake Sunset. And I just had to, had to, had to, had to have this candle, and I'm kind of regretting my impulse in buying it because, you know, the, the scent description is basically lavender, vanilla, and woods, and I was hoping it was going to be something really... Um, a little bit deeper, more mysterious, more sensual than just plain lavender vanilla. To me, it's basically a lavender vanilla. I think it's a little bit heavier on the vanilla. It's a little bit sweeter than the regular lavender vanilla. Sometimes I get a hint of that wood. Sometimes I don't. Um, it's mostly just a sweet lavender vanilla. It's been a slow burner, as you can see. Um, I have another one going, you'll see later on. This one has been slower to pull out than the other one. Now, the other one's been doing a little bit better. But it's like, you know, I could have just gotten plain lavender vanilla. To me, it's not special enough. Um, so I got a couple jars, a few jars. Um, I got two burning, and I got two more, I think, or one more, one or two more. And for me, that'll be it. I have the votives going in here. These are the gold fractal holders. They don't look gold right now because I got purple candles in there. Um, I, I, I had better luck with the votives. I had gotten the votives first, and that's what when I fell in love with the scent and I wanted to get the candle. But I may get the votives again, but I probably won't get the candle again. Um, and the votives have been doing really well. They they pull out great. Um, you know, every once in a while you get some votives from Yankee where. They tunnel like crazy. You get the puny wig syndrome. They just don't do well. But those, the votives have actually been doing really well. And then here, this is actually an oil warmer, also from Yankee. I have a tart in lavender vanilla, and it's taking a little while to. Oh, it's getting there. It's taking a little bit of while to melt, but I just put it on maybe eh, 15 minutes ago, not that long ago. So that's what I have going on in. On my bathroom counter but I have something else going on in the bathroom yeah I told you I got a lot going on let's visit the commode so over here on the back of the commode 
I have um, the Nosset Lantern. This is the large from Yankee. And I was really struggling where to put this lantern. I had it someplace else. I don't even remember where. And um, I wanted to move it, but I'm like out of storage space for my accessories, out of storage space for my candles, which is why I'm on a mission to try to use some things up, get some space going. And I settled on putting um, my lanterns on the back of the toilet. And it worked out really good um, because I always worried when I would have like a candle burning back here about my hair getting caught <laughs> on fire. You know, it's like, what, you know, what if I forget there's a candle there and there's a, you know, a stray flame and poof, there goes my hair. So having it enclosed in a lantern like this, I feel a lot better about it. And also in this room, um, this bathroom is attached to my bedroom and I rarely go in here um, when I'm home, you know, on the weekend especially when I have things going. So it's kind of like, you know, out of sight, out of mind. I mean, I, I come in here periodically, but I can't see this candle when I'm in the other parts of my condo where basically everything else I have going on, I can see as I'm moving back and forth in my day. I actually have to walk into this room to see my candle. So I feel better having it in a lantern and then I don't have to worry about, you know, burning up my hair. And this is Flowers in the Sun. And oh, I got it closed right now, so I'll just leave it closed. It's been performing very well. I mean, I haven't had any burn issues with it. Um, even though it's in a lantern, I do get scent that comes up through this hole, believe it or not. So it doesn't really impede my scent throw. I don't really care for this scent. Um, when it first came out, I was hoping it would be something similar to sunflower because sunflower is being discontinued. Which and sunflower is like a fresh green floral. This is nothing like it. I know a lot of people like this set, but I don't. I just get like pineapple out of it. Um, it's just a fruity smell to me. It doesn't really smell floral at all. In the bathroom, it's really weird. In this spot, I don't really get a throw, but when I go into my bedroom and I'm sitting in my bed, then I can smell it. Um, so it's just kind of weird how the scent travels. But yeah, flowers in the sun, that's my only jar and I will not be repurchasing it. If I want a yellow candle back here, because my wall is yellow, I would much rather have, you know, sweet honeysuckle or anything else. But flowers in the sun, it's a no, 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 not for me. Not my type of scent. Okay, so over here, it's a little cluttered, I know, but like I said, I just got a lot of stuff going on this month. Um, and part of the problem is my salt lamp. I love my salt lamp and I like it here in this spot. So I was having issues. Um, you guys may see my crystal holder back there. I wanted my crystal holder over here, but it didn't look right with my salt lamp and I just couldn't move my salt lamp. So right now my crystal holder is just delegated to the back right there, standing by, waiting to be used again one day. Um, so I kept my salt lamp there because I just love looking at it when I'm laying in bed at night. And I got these, um, this is the Twilight Flight Fireflies tea light holder, which I'd actually gotten some for my other room, which you'll see. But I was so enthralled with them, I kept moving the ones in my computer room into my bedroom at night because I like to watch them as I was laying in bed before I went to sleep. So I finally said, I just need to get another set so I can move it in here. So I don't care if it doesn't match with anything. I like it and it's staying <laughs> um, for now anyway. And this is the, the navy blue fractal holder. And I have a clear one in here. And the votives I have are, what do I have in here? Lavender vanilla. And then I'm running super duper low on tea lights. So I have cotton candy in the fireflies. So yeah, I really struggled with this because I just had so much going on. But it's at the point now where I can at least live with it. Okay, now my dresser, I got a lot going on too. Um, this is the Midnight Floral Collection, and with the exception of this, 
This is a Swan Creek candle in the Gilded Glass. I guess I'll talk about this one first. Um, I just started this one yesterday and I was having some issues with it. Now this is my second Swan Creek candle. Um, I have another one that I will show you that was in the mason jar that gave me no issues. Um, but the shape of this jar is different and I had some major tunneling issues. The wick kept burning out because it wasn't pooling and I had to cut out wax which I put in the warmer. It's doing better, but it looks like it's still having some problems, so I don't know about that. I mean, it's real, it's a beautiful looking jar. Um, and I got one more candle in this style. Um, I think it was the, the tea one. So I don't know. I mean, if this is going to be like this, I probably won't get this style of jar again. I'll just get the mason jars. Which is fine because they're cheaper, but this is so pretty. Um, when this candle's done, I hope to repurpose this and maybe use it as a vase or something. Um, and then in the tea light holders, I have tea lights of Daisy. So I think that is really pretty. And then for some reason, I don't understand. My large jars now for the video are struggling. They've been doing great all month. Um, in fact, you can see they're almost done. I have, I'm not sure which one is which. I gotta take a, sn a sniff. Okay, this one is lemon lavender. And you can see I'm having a problem with the wick there. Maybe I cut it too short today, but it's been doing great, great. Believe me, believe me. And this one is, yep, yeah, honey blossom. Now this one's doing better, it's all pooled out. It's not quite as struggling as much as the other one. But anyway, I really like this collection, this Midnight Floral. I almost didn't get it because it's the crackle glass and I'm you know, kind of leery about crackle glass. I'm afraid I'm going to break it because it's so fragile looking. But I'm glad I did because it is really, really pretty. And then, of course, I have everything on the mirror tray, also by Yankee. Okay, so now we're in my computer room. And you guys, I just love this. I love this. I may keep this out all summer. This. Uh, this is the Twilight Flight Blue Lantern, and I almost did not get this accessory, and I am so glad I did. Um, it's a blue color, but of course at night you can't really tell what color it is. It just looks like it might be like a dark gray, even a black, but it is a medium to dark blue. And I just love the cutout. If you guys get this, you have to put it against the wall. The shadows just play on the wall. And if it was a little bit darker, it would actually go, well, you can see the ceiling. It is just, I just love it. I just love it. And then I paired it with the Firefly holders, which if you put these up against the wall too, I don't know if you can see, well, you can't really see, but they make little dots too. But I thought the, the holes in the Fireflies looked good with the holes in this. I just love this. It's just to me so mesmerizing. And I loved it so much I had to repeat it on the other side. So as you can see I have the same thing going over here. So in both lanterns I have Yankee Candle Tulips. It's been a Yankee Candle month. Almost everything I have going is Yankee. Not everything but almost everything. Um, tulips is, you know, one of my favorite florals. I've had no issues with the burn, no issues with the wax pool. Let's see how it's doing. Let's see, what do we got going on here? Yep, it's all pulled out. And it's, see how big this thing is, you guys? See, the jar is sitting way down deep. So, oh yeah, I really like this. So, yeah, my tulips have been doing great. Um, you know, I have two of them going in this, you know, normal size bedroom, and I can definitely smell them both. Um, maybe one might not be quite as strong as I would like, but two of them is just perfect. Um, and then in the fireflies, once again, I just have cotton candy because it was pink and it kind of matched. The cotton candy is like a dark pink. So it kind of matched the red glow that I have going on in my lantern. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my goodness. I could just stare at it for hours. Okay then here in my other bathroom I have my other lavender sunset 
And as you can see, this one's pulled out. So, but I can't really smell it. I mean, this is a tiny, tiny bathroom. I should be able to smell it. Okay, you guys, I turned on the light so you could see what I have going on here. This is so cool. This is this is actually um, an accessory I've had for years and years from Party Light when I used to sell it. And I have a votive and lake sunset going. But this is what's really cool. This is a tea light holder from Yankee. And if you're interested in it, you have to go to the gift section because it's actually a gift set. It comes with some tea lights. This is you know part of the Twilight Flight Dragonfly um, collection that's going out. Now, it's, it's pretty like that when it's sitting there, but wait till you see what happens when I turn the lights off. I hope the video records this as well. I mean, it's just amazing. I took a couple pictures last night, so I'll post them at the end of the video just in case this doesn't work out as I hope when I'm, I'm doing something live. Because <laughs> it seems like whenever I do something live, things just don't work out. Okay, you guys, look at that. And for some reason, it's not as dramatic. Let me try blowing out this other one and see. Or I'll just move it. I don't want to blow it out. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Look at that, you guys. There's just dragonflies flying everywhere on my wall. Oh, you can't. I don't think you guys can really see it. Oh, darn it. Well, I did get a couple pictures. So like I said, um, I will post them. But because I have the holder in the lantern, it actually is reflecting on the lantern and on the wall. So it looks like I have a, a whole swarm of fireflies going on. It is just like really cool looking. I just wish you guys could see it. It's just, see there's one on the wall. It is just so cool looking. See there's one on the glass. Oh my goodness. I just love this. This is like, I got pretty much almost everything in this collection and I think this is absolutely my favorite piece hands down. Okay, and onto my stove top. I actually have two candles going because this one is practically done. This is Kringle Candle Lemon Rosemary and I just love it. It's a nice balance of rosemary and lemon. Um, great kitchen candle and I really enjoy it. And then this is my new Swan Creek. This is hibiscus green tea and this one I've been kind of moving around because I've just been kind of testing it and it's getting near the end too. Um, my Kringo has been performing perfectly. I've had no issues with it. I rarely have to trim the wicks just every once in a while. And this one unlike my gilded glass one has also been performing perfectly. Um, it pulls out quick. The first burn or two did take a while but then after that I've gotten a, a good wax pull in probably like an hour and a half, two hours max. It doesn't take that long to pull out. This is a mason jar. Uh, it does leave some residue along the edges, but it's not too, too bad. I mean, I can live with it. Oh, there goes my dryer. I gotta put away clothes. Ugh. A woman's work is never done. Um, but performance-wise, it's been doing really great. It pulls out quick. I have no soot issues. I do have to trim the wick every once in a while. Well, actually, after every time I have to trim the wick. The scent itself is not my favorite. Um, it's not a green tea scent like you guys may know. Jasmine green tea from Yankee is like, oh, like my to die for a candle. I just love it. It's just, it just smells exactly like jasmine green tea that you would get at a Chinese restaurant. It's a deep, deep green tea. That's the kind of note I like. This is more fruity. Um, I'm not getting too much of a green tea. It just smells like fresh green, fresh greenness, I guess. Um, you know, the hibiscus kind of gives it the tart, fruity, almost like a lemon, citrus type note. Um, and I'm not getting too much of the green tea. I would have liked it to be more herbal, more green tea-ish. So I don't dislike it, but I don't know if I'd get it again. I wouldn't say I would never get it again, but since I'm new to Swan Creek, there are so many other scents I would like to try. Um, so I'm just kind of withholding my judgment on this one. Okay, and over here on my kitchen counter, I have Blue Hydrangea, 
Oh my goodness, look at that flame. Oh, um, this is my very first burn, so I didn't trim the wick on it, which maybe I should have. I lit this, let's see, it's 6.39 now. Mm. I lit this maybe, I lit it late, because um, I picked this candle out at the last minute because I finished something up. I think maybe around 4, maybe 3.30, probably closer to around 3.30, I think. Um, oops, sorry. And I got a completely full deep wax pool. I don't know if you guys can see it in there. Um, but yeah, looks like, oh yeah, you can see it. See that wax pool? Isn't that beautiful? Um, first burn of this candle, but I've had it before. It's one of my favorite florals, Blue Hydrangea. And on the other side, I had the same thing going, and this one is doing great too. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. But that's why I like this candle. It's a great scent, it's a great thrower, and it gets a great, beautiful blue wax pool going in hardly any time at all. Well, three hours for Yankees, hardly any time at all. Okay, then over here, I have, you know, my Luminara candles going. Then this is, I forget what this is called, um, Blue Ripple. This was from last year. I got a tea light and cotton candy going. This is the holder I got from Kirkland. And I have my 3.5 ounce in Simply Vanilla going on. And it's just a basic vanilla scent. It's not a bakery, nothing like that. Just plain vanilla. And I did a review on this candle today. This is Village Candle Just For You. And it reminds me a lot of Yankee Candles Tulips. And this has a complete full wax pull going on. It's been doing great. Love, love, love this candle. <sighs> now this one, look at this. This has been doing this all weekend. That one wick keeps going out. This is another 3.5 ounce in the Simply Vanilla. And you can see this one's doing beautiful. And this one is not. And I've never trimmed these wicks. Okay, that makes me mad because I like my holder to look pretty. So I went and got the lighter and relit it. <sighs> I don't know if it's a wick issue or if it's a draft. This area is really drafty. Um, that's one reason why I did, you know, I had my votive holders where I used to have the real votives in here. Now I just have these fake ones that are, don't have batteries because it's so drafty here. My furnace is on just a few feet away on the other side of the wall and the wind comes blowing through here um, which is why even on my village candle I have an aluminum lid because otherwise the flames would go crazy so I don't know if this spot I should try moving these that's what I should do I should move these jars and see if the same thing happens if it's a wind issue <laughs> or if it's just a wick issue um, so over here once again just the blue ripple with the cotton candy but yeah, I think that's so pretty. I'm really glad I got these holders. Kirkland's. And this is the, if you go online to look at it, they have like a blue and green, a pink and orange, and like a champagne color. This is the blue and green, believe it or not. I know, it doesn't look like it, but it is. Really happy I got that. And this is the holder I got from Jacqueline. I still love it. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's either still sleeting or freezing rain outside or just plain old rain. I don't even know. All I know is I look out the window and I see snow. <sighs> yeah, it's April. April in Michigan. You get it all. Anyway, let's move on. Um, I have nothing on my wall, nothing lit up because I'm out of tea lights almost. So, I mean, I'm not out of tea lights, but I have a lot of like Christmas tea lights, which I'm not going to light up. So. I'm kind of just using my tea lights for my accessories I have out right now. So my wall holder is just going to have to sit bare for now. Um, I really, really love this setup that I have going here right now. It is so pretty. Um, I got, of course, again, the mirrored tray from Yankee, which I love this. And hang on a second. In case you guys haven't seen this in my videos, this is like a like a dull gold, which 
I don't really have gold accessories anymore. I used to have like a lot of brass, which I think brass is coming back, brass mm -hmm. and gold. Um, but I have mostly bronze and black now. So I hesitated on getting this because of that. But as you can see, it matches my table. Um, but it's just such a neutral color. It's not like a shiny, shiny gold. I think it's just a very neutral color. So I'm very, very happy I have it. And the sides, you can see the sides are mirrored and they have like little gold flecks. And it just really helps reflect the light. Okay, so back to no lights. So these are some holders that I got at my local Myers. They're just a blue crackle glass. I think they're so pretty. And I think they'll go good with the Shimmering Sea collection. I got those tea light holders and um, the large jar holders. And I'm waiting until the summer to put those out. But they also go really good with the Twilight Flight, the Dragonflies. So this is the jar holder that I got. And this is from Yankee. And what do I have in here? I forgot. Oh, this is my roulette candle, you know, because I'm in the wax band still. And so as part of the group, we're doing the candle relay. Actually, we're not doing it just for the wax band. It used to be just for the wax band people, but we've expanded it to the entire group. Whoever wants to play can play. And so I picked Island Sands. And actually, that Just For You by Village, I picked that one first um, because it was one that I've had for three years. Oh, my goodness. Let's go back to that. I just saw it from a different angle. Look at that wax pool. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that wax pool is like an inch deep. There you go. You can see the wicks. Isn't that gorgeous? So I actually picked this one first as my roulette candle because I've had it for like about three years and I just never got around to burning it. And since I have a lot of florals going on, I have my tulips going on, I figured this was the perfect time to burn it. Oh my goodness. I love this candle. I will be getting it again. Now this candle, on the other hand, I picked because I hate it. And it was like, I either have to throw it out or I have to burn it. This is from Goose Creek and this is Island Sands. And I've had this one for about two years now, I think. And it's burning okay. I'm not having any issues with it. I'm having no soot issues. I mean, it's burning fine. I just can't stand the scent. When I initially bought it, they had the wrong scent description online. The scent description they had was for pina colada. And so I thought I was getting a pina colada scent. This is not a pina colada scent. And to me, I don't know what the island sands is supposed to smell like. So I don't know if this is just a mist pour or if it's a dud. I just don't care for this scent. But it's white wax. It has a beautiful label. I'm not having any burn issues with it, so it's like, you know what, I might as well use it. And it's doing a great job illuminating this dragonfly holder. And it's in a spot where my nose can't pick it up. I can't have, I don't have to smell it. So it's doing its job, so I'll live with it until it's done. Now over here, this is the, you know, the blue ripple from last year. And then I have the new dragonfly lid. I have Yankee Candles splash right now. I told you I had a lot of Yankees going on this this month. A lot of Yankees because that's the bulk of my collection and I just start, I need to use things up. That's all there is to it. Um, this one's doing really good too. It's been pooling out probably in about three hours on average. I have three of them going and they've all basically done around the same thing. It takes about three hours, which is really, really good for a Yankee. The throw, I mean, I do have these in my great room, so I can really only smell it when I'm in the vicinity. Um, I initially had it in a bathroom, and it was like a light to medium throw. Um, I take it back. It was a light to medium throw in my bedroom, and my bathroom was about a medium. So it's a nice, fresh, you know, kind of um, ozone-y, watery type set. I really enjoy it. It's not a love, love, love for me, but I do like it. And I have the same thing going on the other side of the room. What I do love about it is the look of this candle. I love the daisies and narcissus on the label, the color of the wax, that beautiful aquamarine color. It's a beautiful, gorgeous looking candle. Okay, then over here on my baker's rack, I don't usually have too much going since I moved into this location because of the draft issue, but I have my salt lamp. But I got these midnight, I forgot what it's called, 
not Midnight Scroll, something, uh, whatever it's called. Again, from Yankee, and I had no place to put them, so I had to put them out. And inside I have the teal fractal holder. It, the, this holder actually holds a small tumbler from Yankee, or you could put in, you know, like a small tumbler from Kringle. But I have the Field Voda from Colonial in Simple Vanilla. And I like the way the teal looks inside the black. It just kind of, you know, something a little bit different. And the exact same thing on this side. Okay, we're nearing the wire here. Over here, some more dragonfly accessories. And in this holder, I have Sweet Honeysuckle from Yankee, and it's been doing great. Um, another one that's been pooling out fairly quickly, you know, like about three, definitely less than five hours for sure. It's pulled out great. I've had no issues with it. It's throwing good. It's, Sweet Honeysuckle is a great candle if you like florals. And then these are... Um, tea light holders from Yankee also in the dragonfly collection and once again you have to go to the gift section to look for this you won't be able to find it in stores it's an online exclusive and what tea lights do I have in here um, it came with um, blue summer sky but the blue summer sky tea lights had puny wick syndrome and they weren't really lighting up which I'm really upset about but um, so I put Bahama Breeze in there and they're doing great and the turquoise color matches perfectly. So yeah, there we go. I got a bunch of dragonflies in the house. Okay, and over here, these are the other tea light holders um, in the dragonfly collection. Now, I had been using the Blue Summer Sky tea lights, which I had mentioned um, earlier in the video, and they had puny wick syndrome, so I had them in here. Hey, Mambo. Um, and I end up replacing them with Daisy. Daisy is um, a dupe for Loves Me, Loves Me Not from Yankee. I picked up all, several boxes of, of them a couple years ago at TJ Maxx, and I'm down to my last box. And I'm really sorry about that because they have been great performing tea lights. Even though, you know, they're a few year, years old, I've had no wick issues with them. I mean, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Whereas these other ones, these blue, well, you can't see it. But I, I you, the puny wick syndrome, they don't illuminate whatsoever. I'm so disappointed because those are brand new. I got them when I just ordered the accessories. They came as part of the gift set. So keep that in mind if you're giving this, if you're going to buy um either of those gift sets as gifts you might want to replace that blue summer sky with something else um, so anyway those are kind of cute look at the dragonflies on the walls definitely definitely you want to place these accessories against the wall Mambo what are you doing okay had a little bit of technical difficulty when I went to upload the video um, this last portion of it wasn't there and so I had to redo it but I had such great deep wax pools going on these candles that I had to blow them out so unfortunately you guys won't be able to see that because I just had to relight them so I could sh reshoot this part of the video but in here I have another jar of special rain so I actually have three of them going on in the space you saw the other two they do have a wax pool going I'll take you over there to prove it just in case see wax pool so anyway, like I said, I have three of them going, and the dragonfly look looks just beautiful on this candle. The colors are just perfect for it. And I decided to keep my rabbits out, because it, it is spring, and the rabbits aren't necessarily Easter. And in my rabbits, I have Bath & Body Works Amsterdam Tulips and Windmills, which is a beautiful floral set. In the votive holders, I have Yankee Candle Ocean Blossom. Um, once again, the tea lights are cotton candy, just because that's what I had. And there you guys have it. Oh, and then in the tulip holders, I have Luminara candles with the dragonfly sleeves. And there you guys have it. That is what I am burning now in the month of April. 
yeah I got a lot of spring and floral going on even though it's been snowing all day then we had sleet freezing rain I think now it's actually raining but uh, um, it's supposed to be warming up yes I think it's supposed to be warming up next week so hopefully these florals will not be quite so out of place in a few days if you guys like this video please comment like and subscribe below and have a blessed day